Hi guys, Tejas share with another video on fun math. Today let's see a method of integration called as substitution method. In substitution method, we will substitute a variable in x. Means for example, you can substitute like t is equal to f of x. You will substitute or you will declare another variable in terms of x. Means you can declare another variable as t in terms of x means f of x as another function of x or if i substitute one time and you will get in t right then you can do another substitution in u or any other letter you can declare any other any other variable in terms of the variable we are using then means if we are using t you should substitute that another variable in terms of t and if you are using u, you should substitute that another variable in terms of u. Or if you are using x, you should substitute that another variable in terms of x. Now, what will be the derivative of the new term? Means if you substitute t, what will be dt? You should write dt right at the end of the integral. How can we write the dt? dt is nothing but derivative of it in terms of x. Means if we take t is equal to f of x derivative on both sides, then you will get dt is equal to f dash of x dx. dt is equal to f dash of x dx. That is how we to solve an integral in substitution method. Now let's see two examples to understand it well. Okay, now let's solve with the example of integral of tan x by a plus b tan square x dx okay it seems to be pretty difficult right we'll use substitution method to solve this first let's simplify this or let's get it in terms of sine and cos sine and cosine now let let it be i i is equal to tan x which is nothing but sin x by cos x by a plus b tan square x which is nothing but sin square x by cos square x so sin x by cos x is equal to a plus b into sin square by cos square it means that i is equal i is equal to integral of sin x cos x and now if you take lcm in the bottom a plus b sin square x by cos square x you'll get a cos square x plus b sin square x by cos square x right this cos square x and the cos x in the denominator cancels out with a remaining cos x in the denominator you can if you get it up you'll get sin x cos x by a cos square x plus b sin square x dx now let us take this denominator as t let t is equal to a cos square x plus b sin square x a cos square x plus b sin square x and if we derivative that you'll get dt is equal to the derivative a is a constant so you can write it in the front and the derivative of cos square x is nothing but 2 cos x and from the chain rule you should derivative cos x so you will get minus sin x so you will get minus 2a cos x sin x plus similarly the derivative of b sin square x is nothing but 2b sin x cos x dx if you take 2 sin x cos x common you will get dt is equal to 2 sin x cos x into b minus a dx now if you observe carefully here you can understand that you have sin x cos x dx term in here sin x cos x dx so you what will be the value of sin x cos x dx according to this it will be nothing but dt by if you sign 2 into b minus a to the other side you, it will go to the denominator so you'll get sin x cos x dx is equal to dt by 2 into b minus a or if you are beginner you can you can isolate dx means you can take like send all the terms other than dx to the other side. So you will get dx is equal to dt by 2 sin x cos x into b minus a. Okay. Now we have sin x cos x dx is equal to dt by 2 by b minus a. Now substitute this in the integral i. So you will get i is equal to integral of now sin x cos x is gone. So you will get 1 by a cos square x plus b sin square x which is nothing but t. 1 by t into dt by 2 times b minus a which is what sin x cos x dx is dt by 2 into b minus a 
1 by 2 into b minus a is a constant. So you can get it out. You will get 1 by 2 times b minus a into integral of 1 by t dt which is nothing but ln of t. Now if you substitute the t back you will get you will get i as ln of a cos square x plus b sin square x by 2 times b minus a plus c. Now let's see an other example of integral of x plus a to the power of minus 3 into x plus b to the power of minus 5 whole raised to the power of 1 by 4 or 1 fourth. So I, let it be i, i is equal to integral of now divide and multiply by x, x to the power of minus 3. Multiply and divide by x x plus b to the power of minus 3. So you will get i as integral of x plus a by x plus b to the power of minus 3 into x plus b to the power of minus 5 by x plus b to the power of minus 3. So you will get i is equal to integral of x plus a by x plus b. If you expand the powers here you have whole result to the power of 1 by 4. Now if you multiply negative 3 and 1 by 4 you will get negative 3 fourth. x plus a by x plus b to the power of minus 3 fourth and here you will get x to the power of 8 x plus b to the power of 8 and if you whole raise it to the power of 1 by 4 right so you'll end up with x plus b to the x plus b squared dx now let t is equal to x plus a by x plus b then dt is equal to what will be dt now you should use the quotient rule which is denominator times derivative of the numerator or if you take d by d by dx of u by v d by dx of u by v is nothing but v u dash minus u v dash by v square right so you'll get dt is equal to x plus b into 1 minus x plus a into 1 by x x plus b squared so dt is equal to b minus a by x plus b squared or x plus b to the power of minus 2 dx is equal to dt by b minus a. Now x plus b to the power of minus 2 dx is nothing but dt by b minus a, right? Now if you replace that and if you replace x plus a by x plus b by t, you will get integral of t power minus 3 by 4 dt by b minus a. If you get b minus a outside the integral, you will get i is equal to 1 by b minus a into integral of t power minus 3 by 4 dt. Now the integral of x power n is nothing but x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 right here n is nothing but minus 3 by 4. So you will get it as integral of 1 by b minus a into t power 1 by 4 by 1 by 4 plus c. If you get this 4 to the numerator you will get 4 into t power 1 by 4 by b minus a plus c or you will get 4 by b minus a t is nothing but x plus a by x plus 4 to the power of 1 by 4 plus c. Okay guys, this is for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If not, comment below why you haven't. If you have any doubts, comment down below. I'll answer them in the next video.